I hereby summon all my imps. Hey everybody, it's Annabelle. Today I just wanted to talk about some of the achievements that are in the game right now and how hard it is to get some of them. Um, the thing about achievements is it's just simply the fact that at least the achievements that are currently the green achievements are the ones that give you XP and some of them are just um, super hard to do. Like, take for example, 70, 70, trigger 20, 75 deaths for out of the hedge mage. And if you go into druid and you even pick up death mage, uh, de a hedge mage with druid, Let's just go to George for a second. And let's go to Hedge Mage. And Hedge Mage itself is a uh, two durability um, equipment. So the best you're doing on this, if you get both Hedge Mages out, is four, is four to trigger the death row. Because there's really no way to make more Hedge Mages at that point. And to get 75, it would take you... Eighteen games. Of if you got both hedge mazes right off the bat and played them down turn three, turn four, and then uh, turn one, turn two, or whatever you had death rattles, and then you just bounce these back and forth. So that that's you know seven. That's nineteen games that you got to play, even if you just go until let's see, turn three, four five, six, dropped it at turn six, let's say you're playing a minute per turn even, you're just trying to go as fast as possible, a minute between you and your uh, friend, so let's say you get lucky, turn six, you got both of them done, uh, so six minutes per turn, another minute per, so six minutes to get uh, one quest, one, uh, Part of them done, you got to do that 18 times. So times 18 is 108 minutes. So divide that by 60. You're looking at about two hours just to get one achievement done. That's how long it takes to get this achievement done. Right here on the achievements. This achievement right here for Dread takes two hours to do. That's if you get the luckiest in the world. If you got both of your hedge mazes in the start, you got enough, you're basically playing a complete death frontal deck, and you're getting both hedge mazes by turn three and turn four, and you're dropping them, dropping them, and then just flipping back and forth, and your entire rest of your deck is death frontals, and then you're still looking at basically two hours to get this done. That's for one achievement. Achievements, I mean, I get that they're supposed to be actual achievements, but especially the ones for, for, for you know, when you're, when you're getting XP to help you get out gold, they don't need to be a two hour event. For a lot of people who don't have a ton of time, that's gonna be a two day event just to get that done. I mean, and that's one achievement. I mean, when achievements first started, they were, you know, kind of interesting, kind of fun. You know, some of the interesting ones, you know, they, they had some bad ones, but they also had some interesting ones that you could just do along the way. Get guess the weight correct ten times, you know. If you knew what you're doing with your deck, that was easy to do, you know. Some of these were easy to do, and then as you can see, as the game went on, and more achievements came down, so I started out with 100 on the achievements, and then this one, I missed one of them on Barons, and by the time I got to uh, Stormwind, I just basically missed about half of them. When I got over to Ultrax Valley, I'm down to a third of them. You know, when I got to Sunken City, I'm about a third of them. 
And that's basically why I'm about sitting at this point. I'm at the point where I'm like doing about a third of them each time. Um, and, that, and that's kind of sad that, you know, and this is with the mini sets thrown in. I, I, I get that, you know, achievements are supposed to be, you know, great, but a lot of people try to use the achievements to get stuff. And some of these achievements on here are just super expensive to even have. I mean, and this one legitimately requires a legendary. So even if you got all three parts of this, are you going to even get enough dust to justify getting the legendary by buying packs to justify it? And what really um, hurts is unless you go into uh, a dungeon run, so unless you do duels and you get Tobear on here, you have to craft this card to get it. You know, why isn't there a way for people to get achievements when they don't own cards? You know, people could actually use that to help them get along this. Like, why couldn't you uh, click this somehow? and have a temporary card that you got here that when you finish the achievement you are done i mean the other issue with it is is achievements can only be done in normal so they can be done in wild they can be done in standard you can't and in casual and, and classic you know the, the four more main ones but you can't ever play them against, uh, you can't ever do them in duels, so you don't really get a chance to get, you know, something weird in duels, so if, uh, sorry, not duels, um, in tavern brawls. You never see them in tavern brawls. You can get them in duels, and you can get them in regular play, and that's it. You can't ever play them again. You don't, uh, ever get the, uh, achievement done if you play it against a friend. And you don't ever get the achievement done if you just play it against the innkeeper. And there are people out there who make these, um, I want to say cabals, but that's the wrong word to use. They get these, uh, they get friends to play against them. And if you face a friend, and you can get your friend to play on the same time as you can, you can get four or five achievements done. So, you know, if you quote-unquote cheat, you can get the achievements done, but if you want to play the game legitimately, uh, play, you know, uh, let's, right now, there's the mode going on for, for, uh, Tavern Brawl is, uh, the Clone Ball, and if you were to go into Clone Ball and get one of those, you know, um, cards that you're missing because you haven't crafted them, one of those legendaries that you're missing for, for you know, Murder at Castle Mafia, you're not going to get a single achievement point off of it. And why? I don't know. You know, playing the game honestly, trying to do stuff honestly, that's hard. But, you know, getting somebody else out there who knows that you're playing at the same time or knows that you're a streamer or knows that you're trying to get an achievement done and just playing against them or playing on the second account and hoping to roll against yourself for whatever reason to get an achievement done, that's, you know, perfectly okay. And why is that? Who knows? You know, you could do stuff to make wanting to get achievements easier to do. You know, you're adding some more achievements in the past. You know, finally Mercenaries has achievements. But even mercenaries right now, um, I don't think they added a single new achievement to mercenaries this time around. Let me look and see if mercenaries even got a single achievement added to it. Uh, defeat four unique bounties in dark charts, so that one's still up and running. And... Other than that, nothing new in mercenaries, you know. Battlegrounds, I have 100% of the achievements in Battlegrounds. 
Nothing in Battlegrounds is, you know, needs to be done by me, but nothing in Battlegrounds gives gold, and nothing gives XP. You know, Mercenary is the only one that's giving XP at this point is the one for uh, Darkshore right now. All the rest of these are out of greens, and again, why? You don't want to improve, um, achievements to make them so that more people can do them? I don't know. I mean, the problem is, is eventually you're going to get to the point where some of these achievements nobody's going to do. If you just entered the game right now and, let's see, uh, how far back are we in the game now? Are we finally at the point where it's starting to become ridiculous to have some of these achievements done? Um, let me look and see, just to make sure. Uh, we're going back to Dark Moon Fair. Yeah, Dark Moon Fair is out of the set now. Are you really going to craft, uh, Rainbow just to get, you know, some achievement points? You know, are you really going to craft, uh, uh, Cannon just to get some achievement points? I mean... Are you ever going to do stuff in the future to help this out? You know, some people do like the achievements. I'm not, you know, the most achievement hunter. I'm doing them as I can. Some of them I'll never do in my life. I have no intention of doing 12 wins as Warlock in, in duels or 12 wins as Warlock in Arena or any other 12 win thing. I, that just doesn't seem fun to me and that's fine. Nobody, you don't have to have every single achievement point. But at least the ones that are, that are for like XP right now, you know, you can make them so that more people can get them. That would make people want to play the game. If you gave, uh, a temporary version of this card. Oops, I mean to do that. If you gave a temporary version of this card so that people could play it while they're trying to get this achievement done, you know? If you let people play this in arena, if you let people play this in duels, I mean, that's fine, but you have to do arena and duels and hope that you get this card off of a random bucket if you don't own it. You can't do this in uh, Tavern Brawls. You can't do this against a, um, a player that you know, is a friend of yours. You can't do this against the innkeeper. You know? And, you know, why? Let people play this stuff. Let people get these, get these, uh, small amounts of XP that you can get. You know, the little bit of XP would make more people want to play your game because it would help them move along the track. And some, again, if you get lucky, some of these you can get easily, but even the ones that, some of these are just grinds. It shouldn't take you two, three hours to get one achievement done. I don't know what you're going to do in the future with it, but... I would really like if at some point it was a lot easier to get some of these achievements done so more people would play down the road. Thank you all so much for watching and as always remember play for fun.